That might be. Oh, it's crawling. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's Just in. like that. Oh my. Butterfly. butterfly? Yeah. We got a butterfly, y'all. Oh! Look at that. Butterfly Agama. Oh Woo! my goodness. Look at the flame orange side. We yes! got him. This invasive reptiles. He's the iguana man on YouTube. Right, you guys. So. Look at the jowls on him. Whoa! Look at wow. that. Look at the teeth on that. Yikes. Dude, that is. He's sticking it. Yeah, that's a butterfly. Okay, where? He's in the field. He's in, he's in the grass. He's in the grass. Oh, I see. Oh! Yeah, that's a butterfly, yeah, Agama. He... Oh, I think it's beautiful, dude. Its hole's got to be right there. So I might run up to it and then we'll lay the trap and then we'll like probably back off to over there and okay. we'll watch it. Um, there's no way you can run up and get that. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and set the trap out there. We're going to see if we can make it happen. So we'll, we'll just kind of set it and forget it, right? We'll come back down, see how that works. Oh, well, we got some good news and we got some bad news. You want to tell them the good news? What's the good news? That there's an agama outside of our trap. Yeah, the bad news is we haven't caught it yet. He's not in there yet. <laughs> he's like, what's the good news? Yeah, whatever. All right, no worries. Come on, figure it out, buddy. All right, he's in there, y'all. This potentially... Could... That was no, that was a different lizard. Yeah, but that one is definitely an agama. That might be... Oh, it's crawling. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's in? It's Just in. like that? Oh, my God. Butterfly coming. Butterfly? Yeah. We got a butterfly, y'all. We got a butterfly. Oh, it's a male. It's a male. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Oh. Look at that. Butterfly Agama. Oh Woo. my goodness. Look at the flame orange side. We yes. got him. Dude, we got him, bro. Good to hear, yeah, bro. Look at that. Whoa. Oh. A little bit of shed there. Wow. Oh my God, look at the purple. Look at the, oh um, my So God. that's why they're called the butterfly agama because of that bright flame orange side. Yeah, not only is it massive and it looks like a monitor, but look at the colors on that thing. Absolutely incredible. Oh my God. So guys, this is the butterfly agama, cousins of the red-headed agama, but as you can it's see, completely different species right here. Much bigger. He's got the butterfly fire red orange going along its back look at that reticulated pattern looks like a monitor lizard too it dude does. from the from the upside of it and look at look in between it's like its legs and its thighs right there it's got that beautiful like indigo purple blue going in there the spots and of course that fire red orange uh butterfly <laughs> oh my <on>. god oh! <laughs> dude <laughs> look at that oh and it's got fat reserves in the tail look at that oh yeah so like if so it will store fat in their tail, a lot of lizards, just in case in those rougher months that it can store that fat and use it for energy in those months in that the, it's hard, of hard to times, right? Yeah. Hard times, right? Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, and he's feisty. But look at the two canines on the bottom, just like the redhead and at the top of the mouth. Look at that. That is a- That's a wicked lizard, dude. Aggressive lizard right there, dude. Put it like this, y'all. We're out here hunting iguanas, other lizards and stuff. You just never really know what is outside living in your front door y'all or in your backyard y'all these lizards are out here as you guys can see gorgeous butterfly agama in the bag huge shout out to our friend edward y'all taking us to one of his jobs where these lizards were at and we were able to catch them it kind of looks like a white like a white throat monitor kind of doesn't yeah it? a little bit oh it's my kinda, gosh it's kind of so got like sick. a similar shape as you guys can see the back of it kind of looks like a now like a juvie now monitor with spots and stuff like that looks similar but that right there you see that flame butterfly pattern right there that's why they get their name butterfly agama males get that nice color and then females are a little more drab just like the red-headed agamas do you think uh that this right here like what do you think that does you help helps them bask more get more heat it could be for uh attracting mates it could be also just um just yeah, yeah. May maybe maybe it'll flatten oh my gosh maybe it'll flatten out like that 
and catch the rays of the sun with that. But I'm not sure. I mean, I little know. I, I know very little about the species. And look at that right here in hand. Wow. One of the most beautiful lizards I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm, I'm just as excited as you are, man. I had never seen this thing in person. And, and, and when my buddy was telling me about it, I was like, all right, we'll, we'll go out there and see. What's the worst that can happen? We go out there and we don't catch him. Guess what, y'all? First job, first spotting, first trap set, first one in the bag. That's another nice one. It's right there. Boom. Yep. All right, there he is right there. Butterfly gama. You can kind of see the... Now. Yeah. See how he's standing up? He's basking. He's got those butterfly colorations going along the ribs. Let's see where he goes. Oh, he might be onto us a little bit. Very smart. See if we could. Uh, oh, he just. Uh, he just kind. I think he went in a hole over there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, right there to the to the to the right. Yeah, right over there. That's where he went. All right, cool. Nice, good, perfect. All right, we. We'll let it marinate y'all we'll be back approach further all right y'all good news y'all the first one that we just set the trap or the second one actually yeah we just rode by we seen his head is out so we're thinking he might engage the trap here uh momentarily uh we're gonna go ahead stake out get some distance respect his distance and we're gonna monitor the situation if he does go in there if he goes he's running up there he's gonna see if he can back he's he's about to go in it I'm so excited. He's about to go in it. He, he literally is right next I, to it. I think, I think if we bust this Yui, he'll be inside. This is Yui. Oh, it's Yui. Oh, oh, Woo! Right on the outside. We need to give him a second or two. Figure it out. Yeah, let him figure it out. Show you guys, look, we do got him in there right there. So that is a confirmed catch. Get the recovery. Get the bag. There you go. He's going in. Wow, he's super fast. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow, he's super fast. Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Y'all seen my heroic uh, capture? We think we got the other one coming. All right, we learned what we got to do is mush the trap. There you go. Good job, Edward. Alright. Trap on the sidewalk, it's a butterfly agama. Nice. Yeah, it's an, it's another non non-native reptile out here in South Florida. So it's invasive, huh? Uh not necessarily invasive, but non-native because we don't really know the ecological impact that they have yet okay. to call them invasive. Invasive is when they're detrimental to the environment. Okay. So far, all we know is that they eat insects roaches and stuff so is beautiful though, yeah they are very similar so to wait, we, got, you... we got a little thing going on we don't want to get hit yeah so, don't get hit. peace bro hey take it easy guys yeah take it easy well that escalated pretty quickly yeah got us another one another one in the bag all right i'll move up there we'll get off we'll all right move. the butterfly agama is native to southeast asia they are commonly found in the forest and agricultural lands of cambodia indonesia malaysia Thailand and Vietnam. Yet, very little is known about this species in the wild. I know they eat bugs, obviously, but I wonder if they can eat other lizards and stuff. Look at the jowls on him. Whoa, look at wow. that. Look at the teeth on that. Yikes. The butterfly agama is an insectivore. Although they will occasionally eat various fruits, vegetables, and leafy greens, they mostly eat crickets, worms, roaches, and other insects they can like get their short, hands on. Uh, stumpy snout, you know? Yeah. So you know he's got some power in them jaws yeah. right there. And they kind of lack that dewlap, so I'm thinking. Yeah. This might be for like. For attracting uh, yeah, mates or, mates, or being yeah. territorial. Flashing that in some way, yeah. Like, we're just as shocked as you guys at home, man. Look at the... the overall body color is gray to olive green. Males and females have black stripings along their flanks. However, males during the mating season, well, they can have bright red and black stripes. 
Males tend to be stockier than females as well, and the species can grow anywhere from 12 to 20 inches in length, including the tail. They have very smooth scales around the body, and their head is rounded with a small, very barely distinguishable snout. These lizards, when they're juveniles, are easy to recognize by their reddish colored tail. Fantastic specimen. It is missing a couple of toes right here. One right there. That's probably from digging. God, that looks bad. And then He's a couple down here. Maybe in that, fights, territorial stuff. Yeah, other than that, very healthy lizard. Yeah. Very healthy lizard. All right, we got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is the Agama, he just went in his hole. Good news is we caught a bird, but I'm not quite sure if that's even good news. So that's actually the bad news. Bad news is... There's just bad news. Agama's gone and we got a bird. All right, I'm gonna let you handle this one, all right, dude? We got a bird in there. And there he goes. This trap, y'all. Is he in there? Oh, he's in there, he's dude. In there. He's in there. That silly Agama. They never, never learn. I'm gonna let you handle this one, all right, bro? Yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. He's on it. Let's get it. Got him. 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 Nice. That, my friends, right there is a good way to finish off the day. Yes, sir. Butterfly Agama, another nice male. Look at that. Woo! Gorgeous, gorgeous, Our gorgeous. final one of the day. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. End of the day out strong. The beautiful Butterfly Agama. That's, that's the perfect way to end the day, dude. Perfect yeah. way. We learned a lot today, y'all. Yeah, we sure did. There are different lizards out here. Obviously, and as you guys can see, this is a new species that I was completely unaware of, and I do this for a living. The butterfly agama. What else did we learn? They live in holes. What else did we learn? They use those flaps not to fly. Well, we're not quite sure if they use it to glide, but they definitely use it to thermal ventilate. You know, thermal. You can regulate. feel its ribs actually on the side. They use that's the just flaps their belly. to thermal regulate. So that's his ribs right there. Yeah, that's his ribs. What? So his ribs are poking out right here. Yeah. So his. What on earth am I feeling, dude? Hold yeah, on. Yeah, his rib cage kind of, kind of like a crescent moon. So he, it's flattened out to the curvature of his body. You feel that though, right there, right? Yeah, that's his ribs are poking out right there. Look, they're like they're kind of like wings for real. Yeah. Wow. So he uses his rib cage muscular area right there to to to, to get that out, get that flared, and kind of get as much. Oh wow, he's trying to take a chomp at you. Yeah, he did. And trying to trying to get as much sunlight as possible. They use it to thermal regulate, guys. At first, I thought they used it to fly. It's got to be for thermal regulating. It's got to be. And then when those are out and they're wide and he and you know they're they're flared, it kind of looks like like he has butterfly wings. Yeah. So hence the name, the butterfly agama. We're not quite sure, y'all. It's just a theory. It's a new species that's popping up here in South Florida. They do have little femoral pores too, huh? Yeah. Little dots right there. Right here. Yeah, they're on the side of the legs. That is incredible, my friend. So let's bag them up and yep. let's call it a day. Let's call it a day, man. What an incredible day out here in South Florida catching these beautiful non-native lizards. I'm so stoked to actually have these in hand. Beautiful, man. Today could not have gone any better. I hope you guys enjoy the video. A uh, huge shout out to our friend Edwards for inviting us on this job and bringing this content to you guys. And a huge shout out to our friend Matt for uh, giving you know, us the tools and trade. Exactly, y'all. He does chameleon hunts. If you guys want to go check him out, go ahead put all Matt's info in the description down below and uh, we're gonna put, go ahead put these agamas in the bag we're gonna see you guys on the next video hope y'all enjoy like comment hit the red subscribe button Woo! let's get it